Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we are making some please don't eat it though I know you're going to be tempted to chocolate macadamia nut lip balm. Mm -hmm. If you've spent much time on my blog or my YouTube channel you know that I am bonkers for cocoa butter and I especially love it in lip balm where it's all Ooh, just all that chocolatey goodness by your mouth. Oh, it's wonderful. And for a while now, I've really been wanting to make a good chocolate nut lip balm, but most nut oils just really don't have any like nuttiness to them in the scent department when they're cosmetic grade. Like the food oils tend to, but the, the cosmetic grade don't. And then I found macadamia nut oil and oh my goodness, I, <laughs> It's so tempting to drink macadamia nut oil because it smells amazing. It smell oh, it's just like pure nutty goodness. And I just could not get the idea of like pure nutty goodness and cocoa buttery wonderfulness together in a lip balm out of my head. And so here we are today. Because I really, really wanted the chocolate and the macadamia nut oil scent to just shine, I chose the rest of the ingredients to have little to no scent. So I love using unrefined beeswax and virgin coconut oil in my lip balms, but they both have really distinctive smells, which I love, but I didn't want to be competing with those scents in this project. So I've gone vegan and I'm using candelilla wax instead of beeswax. You can use carnauba wax instead. They're, they're very, very similar in terms of sort of level of hardness and consistency. And then instead of coconut oil, I'm using babasu oil. But if you don't have babasu oil, go right ahead and use coconut oil instead that has been refined if you can find it. So like RBD coconut oil is also a really good choice for that sort of soft, glossy oil. I do find that babasu and coconut oil have a very, very similar uh, consistency. So they also make great swaps for one another. As is very difficult for lip balms, this one is super simple to make. We weigh everything out, melt it together, stir it and pour into lip balm tubes. We're not adding any essential oils to this because it smells so amazing on its own. So it would be hard for this to be any easier to make. So come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining our ingredients into a heat resistant glass measuring cup. So this is a 250 milliliter Pyrex measuring cup. And I love that it has a pouring spout, makes things much easier down the road. So we've got four grams of candelilla wax, seven grams of cocoa butter, four grams of babasu oil, and nine grams of macadamia nut oil. We're also going to add 0.1 of a gram of vitamin E oil. So to melt this through, got a water bath here, and this is just a small flat bottom saucepan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in it. And we're going to pop this in here and go put the pan on the stovetop over medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until everything is melted through. Now that everything's melted through, really all that's left to do is pour it in our tubes since we're not adding any essential oils because it already smells amazing thanks to the cocoa butter and the macadamia nut oil. So I'm just gonna dry the outside of this off so we don't accidentally incorporate any water and we're ready to pour. All right, now we just gotta let those set up. So it's been about half an hour and everything's set up so we can put some lids on them and label them. And there you go, you just made some chocolate macadamia nut lip balm. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to check the description box below the video. That's where all the ingredients are written out. I'm not expecting you to take notes, it's all down there. And there's the link to this recipe on my blog, which is where I have the full written instructions, links to all of the ingredients and information on substitution. So if you don't have something, you can figure out what you can use instead. See you next time.